Yes, uh, the Ministry of the Interior issued a statement a short time ago said that they were moving to disperse the, the sit-ins, both camps, uh, and we have um, heard that there are armoured bulldozers moving on one of them uh, from where, where I am, which isn't very far from the Anahda site uh, near Cairo University. We've heard what sounded like live shots. There have been reports of tear gas and recent unconfirmed reports uh, that at least 25 people have been killed. Now, the Ministry of the Interior in its statement said it wanted to avoid bloodshed and that it would give safe exit uh, to protesters who weren't wanted by the prosecution. And I don't know if you can see behind me, uh, but there are big clouds of black smoke um, just rising up over those buildings over there. Bethany, we can see those. Thanks very much for pointing that out. Of course, there had been a warning earlier this week from the government that they intended to clear this site. Yes, um, for, there have been rumours uh, over the last few days that this was imminent. Uh, in the Ministry of the Interior said in its statement uh, that it was moving to take what it called the necessary uh, measures uh, to um, clear the site, um, saying that that was in the interests of the Egyptian people. Um, but uh, we've seen on Egyptian television pictures at the site, pictures from some of the makeshift um, field hospitals. We saw one image of people, uh, one person being treated with blood streaming down him. So at the moment, uh, it very much appears that uh, that is going on. Uh, we have heard within the last uh, five or ten minutes uh, more volleys of what sounds like live shots, but um, uh, certainly the move, the push to move those protest camps, those supporters of uh, the ousted Muslim Brotherhood President Mohammed Morsi, who are being moved. Bethany, what kind of numbers are we talking about? I know, you know, over the past few, few days you've walked around in the square and, and in Cairo and seen these camps. How, what kind of numbers are the authorities looking at shifting out of these places? We don't have clear numbers at the moment. Uh, that size of uh, the, the camps uh, got bigger a couple of days ago when there had been the first um, suggestion that the government was going to imminently about to move in. Um, there are a number of uh, quite significant uh, s numbers of people who've been out there in those camps uh, and so that this is a big move and uh, as we have seen from these reports the, 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 the likelihood of, of, of violent clashes because some of these protesters have said that they would stay, they, they have been prepared preparing themselves for this. There have been, they've made sort of makeshift barricades around those camps uh, so that this is uh, something that they say that they would try and resist the protesters in those camps. The pictures we're showing, Bethany, are delayed pictures um, that were shot just a, literally a few moments ago, minutes ago, of Cairo. We're, we're seeing pictures of the smoke that you described behind you as well. We know that the army is involved in this. Let's just talk about the army's treatment of the people as well. This has been highly criticised in the past. Yes, well, I mean, there have been a, a number of casualties over the last six weeks or so since the ouster of uh, President Mohamed Morsi. Um, the army was criticised for heavy-handedness, uh, and there have been a great number of fears, uh, certainly among the protesters, that when it did come to the, uh, the dispersal of these camps, that it might be very bloody. Um, at, at the moment, we don't have a, any figures on casualties, uh, but we certainly have had uh, reports so far uh, uh, the latest one we have, unconfirmed, as I say, uh, that 25 people um, have been killed, but no official figures at the moment. And of course, Bethany, as we report this happening, the smoke behind you, the reports, unconfirmed reports, as you've said, of those being killed as these sites are being cleared, the international concern, the international observers of what is happening in Egypt won't be reassured by these images. Certainly, the international community doesn't want to see bloodshed uh, of, of the scale that uh, was seen certainly a few weeks ago, that they will not want to see uh, the situation uh, getting more polarized because with, with every uh, death, uh, every death that is potentially uh, more polarization between uh, the pro-army supporters and the supporters of uh, President Morsi, uh, the former President Morsi and the Muslim Brotherhood. So this is uh, potentially showing that the, the, the divisions, exposing the divisions that are very, very alive here in Egypt but between those two groups.